there is only one thing that's better than a sharp knife, and that's two sharp knives. I gotta tell you, this is pretty terrific. <laughs> yeah. A good way to get that is with a wet or water stone. They come in a range of grits from about 240 up to 8,000, but that can be a bit excessive. I would never go much past a 3,000 stone. I chose this stone as my knife has some nicks in it, and the 400 side will help getting rid of those, leaving the 1,000 side for getting a super sharp edge. This stone also came with an option of a leveling stone or an angle guide. The leveling stone is better in my opinion, as after you have done a couple of knives, you won't need the guide anymore. However, you will eventually need to re-level your stone. Before use, it needs a good soaking in water. The instructions for this one say 10 to 15 minutes, but I would go for 45 just to make sure it's properly saturated. If it's too dry, you will hear it. Be sure to set up an area where you can make a little mess and splash some water around. It can get messy, particularly if you are sharpening multiple items like me or removing deep chips from an edge. The angle depends on the knife, but a good cutting edge will be from about 15 to 20 degrees off the stone. To achieve this, I used half the height of my thumb as a guide. Unless you have super tiny hands, this will get you in the ballpark. Don't stress about the angle as you will still get a sharp blade. For this reason, I recommend not trying to sharpen a super expensive knife on the first go. It may have a specific angle that you should adhere to, not to ruin the blade. Now let's get into it. You will be pulling and pushing the knife towards its spine or non-cutting edge depending on which side of the cutting edge is being worked on. Sounds tricky, huh? The animation should show you exactly what I mean. Although it looks like I am just rubbing the knife backwards and forwards, I am actually applying downward pressure with my fingers in one direction only using my hand that is not holding the handle. Put some extra water on the stone and start moving the knife while maintaining the same angle. My trick is to try and lock your lower arms and wrists while using your shoulders and upper arms to move, similar to if you are on ro a rowing boat. If you try and move the other parts of your body, you may change the angle and get an uneven edge. Start on the lower grit and work your way up. So I will start on the 400 to get rid of the nicks and then finish on the 1000 grit. Add some water with your hand every now and then and do not wipe away the slush that appears on the stone. This helps with the cutting process. To see if you are done, Gently wipe your finger off the cutting edge and feel for a fine burr or some roughness. When you have it, flip and work the other side. When you feel like you have an even size edge on each side, do several final passes of maybe 10 strokes each to break the burr off. This should get you started on your sharpening journey. There is much more to learn, but sometimes it is good just to give it a go and then tweak your results instead of overthinking it too much. And man, a sharp knife is the best feeling. Catch you next time.